Hello, I'm Tenman432, and today I'm going to be playing more of Mega Man Zero Two. Uh, I got a new mic, I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but it's there, and uh, it's a big difference with the sound of my voice, or the quality, I guess. But now we're just going to start and go to the command room. Dot, 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 dot. So that's the Operation Righteous Strike. We're going to take advantage of the absence of X and thrust our forces upon Neo Arcadia. Victory is in your hands for a better tomorrow for all Reploids. Why, it's you, Zero. We are now preparing for an operation. Unlike the past minor scale ones, this operation will inflict a crushing blow on them. Once it succeeds, it will boost the morale of the resistance. New Arcadia is not a sitting duck. We should carry out we should not carry out a frontal assault. We need to con continue our guerrilla operations and wait until SEAL completes her research. Thank you for your advice. We are going to continue our guerrilla activities. We have gained strength. And we are ready to work it out by ourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was too harsh. Needless to say, we still appreciate your cooperation. Um, will you help? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. Now, here is the current mission. Proper, proper grammar, El Paizo. Oh well, here they are. Look at the monitor. Can you see them? They may not be enough of a challenge for a legendary hero, but it would be very appreciated if you help us. Let's uh, start with the first stage. What about Snake over there? In this mission, I'd like you to rescue our comrades. There are ruins known as Dysis, deep in the forest. Scout soldiers went there to in who went there to investigate have not returned yet. I'd like to send someone to rescue them, but considering our current state of preparing for the coming operations. We don't have a soldier available. I'm very sorry to bother you, but will you find and rescue them? Yeah, sure, I guess. Mission commencing. Everyone prepare for the transfer. Transfer time. We are now ready to transfer. Transfer start. Oh man, that was. Good luck. Commander sent us here to investigate something called a baby elf, but we encountered the Neo Arcadian army. My comrades are still somewhere in the forest. Please save them, Zero. Oh man, these voices. Where do I come up with these? Okay, the operator is saying just rescue these guys. They're in the ruins in the forest. So let's get started. This is the first stage, so it's probably not going to be the or the um, first mission, I guess. Because the intro stage is technically the first stage. Oh well, I'm, I'm just getting sidetracked right now. But it should be pretty easy. I mean, I haven't had much experience with Mega Man Zero Two, but it doesn't take that long to learn these stages in any Mega Man game, really. So you got these bees flying around. Um, you got moles digging around. And you got purple bees that will drop bombs on you, or they will explode if they're holding the bomb when you um, slice them or shoot them. Um, and there's also these shield enemies, kind of like the ones from Mega Man X, which are based on the ones from the original Mega Man series. And I know they are called Sniper Joes, but I don't remember the other ones. Anyway, this next part, you need to take out your chain rod and kind of swing around on these things. If you hit the down button and then the directional button, or the down button, then you'll kind of have more space and you'll actually be swinging around, which I didn't realize for a little bit when I was trying to figure out this stage. Because I haven't played this um, before. But... Yeah, um, you just gotta swing over those. You you can swing on the sides if you want. It's much easier than trying to aim for the bottom of it. Because you might fall when you miss. 
but you can also use your chain rod to take the shields from these enemies here. But it's kind of hard when you're on these moving platforms. So I'll try to do that now. Come on. It's still not working for me. Come on, I need, I need to try now. Oh well, I'll just do it on this next guy. There we go. Solar shield and now whenever he throws his his little mace thing, um, he'll fly along with it and you won't stay still or anything. Anyway, you could use your uh, little chain rod to fling yourself from that, um, to get to the cyber elf in, at the top right corner of the room. But I didn't. Because while I was playing this, I didn't realize that it was up there. Anyway, now we have this mini boss. There are spikes on the floor, so don't go on the floor. And you just shoot its eye, pretty much. Watch out for these. Watch out for those little ball things that can hurt you, or the lasers. And I'm not really sure the purpose of the water rising there. It doesn't make it any harder, but that still happens. This is pretty easy. You just gotta kind of shoot it. And there should be a secret room. Right there. And apparently we found a rare elf. Or at least according to Seal we did. But anyway, in this room there's a whole bunch of energy crystals. Which are used to um, feed the cyber elves that get in turn give you powers. Or special powers. Not like being a robot that shoots lasers out of his arm with a lightsaber isn't powers enough but anyway a uh, whole bunch of, there's an extra life is two but then you just climb back up here go through the door and this next part there's these blocks that can be pulled around with the chain rod and you will have to do that to rescue all of these people who are just standing there not doing anything about their current situation and um I don't really know how they ended up stuck in the places that they are. They could easily have climbed out, but... Or how that guy got over there. How did that block just suddenly appear there? Anyway, you just gotta save them. And over here you have a... Sub-tank. Which, um, if you remember correctly, is an item. And uh, when you pick up extra H er, extra health when your health is already full, uh, it fills up in the sub tank so you can use it later when you when you need extra health. So um, I just died there because I fall on those spikes, which are instant kill. But I will get back up there in just a moment. And um, yeah, for now I'll just let you listen to the music. Okay, now that I've gotten that, you might have heard that, um, loud crushing sound. And that is, in the next part of the level, actually, the ceiling. And it is filled with spikes that will kill you. And the ceiling will fall down every few seconds and uh, try to crush you. Like that. So avoid those, be really careful. Uh, don't try to go past two of those pillars, or those, these block things, unless you're like a speedrunner or something. And don't use the jump button to skip through that text like I have done so many times. Or at least the times that I've tried to play this level. Because you will jump into those spikes, and they do kill you instantly. So, yeah, not a good idea. Anyway, there is one more survivor down here. And you need to pull down that block there. And now we're at the boss fight. Already. Give that back. And your life may be spared. If. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Run! Oh yeah, run, please. If. The restricted area, even for us new Arcadians, 
You will never leave here alive. Hiss. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh well, now we're at the boss fight. It's a snake. And, um... He will throw his arms into the floor, and they will come out of one of the other blocks there. And if you're too close to him, he'll try to strike you with his other arm. And when the platform flattens, he'll try to, like, push himself across to you. And then he sends out these spring things. I don't really know what they are. And then he'll shock you, like that. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't aware of that, but it still happened. Then the platforms will go back, and the process will repeat itself yet again. And I will probably die before I beat him this time. But yeah, that's, 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 that's the, the simple pattern of this boss, whatever his name is. But let's try that again, and uh, beat him this time. Um, if you remember correctly, Cereview said that um, we damaged our weapons, so there's a Z-Saber skill up, and we'll have to re-upgrade them. After this mission, I'll just uh, upgrade it off-screen, but yeah, we need still need to do that. And uh, mine just upgraded the Z-Saber just now, and now it'll be way easier to fight this guy because um, doing a slash combo does a lot of damage. And we almost got him, mostly because of that. We have that combo now. Now we just need to get him one little weak shot one more time, and then we got him. I could have easily destroyed the Nameless Soldier. Hiss, 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 hiss. And then he exploded. I think I missed a box of text, something about the baby elf, but still, I know you guys can read. Anyway, we got 46 points. That is a D. We are the codename Wounded Warrior. And now we have a mini cutscene. And it's X. It's been a long time, Zero. X! I can no longer rest. Both baby elves have awakened. The baby elves are still children. They cry for their mother as they tremble from the loneliness. What's your point, X? The baby elves will do anything to reunite with their mother. Stir the humans' minds and bring chaos. It's all to meet their mother, the Dark Elf. The Dark Elf that I sealed. Wait, X! Ah, the Dark Elf. Whoop. Mission accomplished. Transfer in progress. Two, one. Swap. Transfer complete. Well done, Zero. You've been very helpful. With your valuable cooperation, we've been able to retrieve another baby elf. We now have both baby elves that Neo Arcadia kept inside their vault. Once again, I'd like to thank you for your support. Anyway, in a few seconds you might see Zero blip across the screen and that was me upgrading my weapons. And it already happened, because I'm so fast. But anyway, I went to uh, the stage that we just beat and spent like half an hour beating up enemies. So I think our... Our um, Buster Gun and Z Saber should be pretty much maxed out. But anyway, we're kind of going a little bit longer than I want to, but there's this short mission, and um, I guess the resistance is running low on supplies, and we're going to rob a new Arcadian train because we're the good guys and we rob trains. Anyway, this should be kind of quick. And they are now ready to transfer. And the transfer has start. It, of course, of course I use proper grammar. We've confirmed that the supplies are on this transport train. Watch out for obstructions and seize the train. Yep, that's the mission. We're on a train. And, uh, 
There's Cyber Elf right there, so grab that. And, um... There'll be these lights that come up. Two yellow ones, and then a red one. And then this huge... Well... That. That will come up, and it will damage you. And, um... Yeah, just jump over those. They're not instant kill, I don't think, but um, they do damage you quite a bit. And if you're not paying attention there, if you see the red light, then jump. But I couldn't really there, because I was already climbing up and I wouldn't have uh, reached the ground in time. Oh, well, I, well, I got hit anyway. And it still did mm, still <laughs> considerable damage. And then uh, I failed to jump over there for some reason, and now I'm going to pay for it with Zero's life. Anyway, uh, touching the ground on a moving train will probably hurt a lot in real life, so don't try it, and it will kill you instantly in a video game. So don't try that either. Anyway, you can just speed through this stage. It's pretty easy, even though I just died. Um... Unless you haven't played Mega Man before, then nothing would be easy. Just jump over that, like I didn't last time, and keep going. And yeah, that's pretty much all the stage, except this mid part. I don't know if it's coming up yet, but I'll talk more when we get there. Okay, here we are. Um, some enemies are trying to save the supplies, um, so we have to defeat them before they take all the supplies away. And uh, there is a simple strategy that you can use that I'm trying, kind of failing to use. Oh, I mean, until now, no, I got it down. But anyway, just keep doing this. Um, it only takes one hit to bring them down, but I just keep hitting the button twice for some reason. Keep doing that. And, uh, it'll keep going, I don't know, like, 30 seconds. It feels like a while, but it'll stop, eventually. And, yeah, that's about it for this midsection. And that's it, that's it. Just keep going. And uh, there's a little bit more. There's these blue enemies. And a little bit more of the level, but it's, it's more of the same part of the level. Or, same level, really. There's a cyber off there. And I believe this is about the end of the level. Yeah, here we are. Hey you! Don't you know that this is Master Harpunia's territory? Huh, a minion of the Resistance Force. I shall stop you! So yeah, this is the boss. Uh, I don't think it's that hard. I mean, if you have the three, the three, um, the love Z Saber combo, and for the three slashes, then I think you, sh you should be good to go. And the sub tank, of course. So, um, he has some attack, he has that purple attack, and he'll send out those. Okay, most. He'll send out lots of, like, slashy looking things, lasers, but, um, yeah, I already beat him, so I don't have to explain it now. Uh, he's exploding now, some of his lasers will come back to him like a boomerang, but most of them will just fly away. Anyway, uh, I'm just kind of getting off track there, but anyway, back to the game. 73, that's a C. Still a wounded warrior, but we got the thunder chip. That's pretty good. Mission accomplished. Transfer in progress. Two and a one. And there we go. Now, um, I guess I could just end the video here. I'm kind of over time right now. Not like I have a time limit for these videos, but 
I have been up here editing and using this mic for a while, so I'll just call it a night. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll just leave this here. And uh, peace and sheep.